think this is a used keyboard. Just wanted to show it more of a look at. I mean, I tried to make sure all the keys work, but I'm not using it for gaming or anything, so it's not like I have to test it for that. Just curious about the quality. I think I got it really, really cheap. You'll see the info below. It's always good to have an extra keyboard around. You know, you never know when you need one. I always keep wireless and USB ones around. I like Logitech the most. But I believe I didn't pay much at all. It might have been under $10 for this keyboard, and that's why I purchased it. And it is, I don't even know the brand. Uh, Dynex. So there's the info below. Full size keyboard, as you can see, it's got the little legs here. It's refurbished, open box, or certified, or something like that. And you click on the link, you'll see it for yourself. Right, it has a little slot here, I don't know what for, but I guess you could put your phone on here if it has no case. And like always, let me measure almost everything. So, the USB cable is going, or the USB connection is going to be about past five feet in size. And uh, the keyboard itself, regular, what is it, 108 key keyboard. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. And uh, do the whiteness from below. this for hey that doesn't open up so I don't know what that's for um no so there's a look at the keyboard like if you were holding it at the store up to your eyes Let me know if that opens and you know it. I don't want to break it. And uh, the front of the keyboard. There's a little slot here. I don't know what that's for. Probably for pencils or something. Regular standard quality keyboard. You know, and sometimes people use terms. They don't let you know what they're for. So, I don't know if you're aware where QWERTY comes from when they talk about keyboards. And it basically comes from this. Q-W-E-R-T-Y. QWERTY. Just in case, I'm pretty sure everybody knows it, but just in case you don't, that's where it comes from. Okay. Let me show you what I'm hooking it up to. I'm just connecting it to my R9. It's just going to be... One of three keyboards I have connected to this. I have a gaming keyboard connected to this. A USB and I have a wireless one. Um, depending on what I'm doing depends on what I'm using it for. Usually I usually keep the USB keyboard for when I'm doing uh, BIOS or other type of things that I need a USB during boot up. Or just if I'm just typing away. So it's working just fine. I already tested it. My Windows key is working. Uh, no issues whatsoever. So all is working fine. All right. So I hope the video helped. I hope you like it. And again, it was just a look at. It's the standard keyboard. If you, I always keep extra keyboards. I probably have 10 extra keyboards. And I, whenever they go on sale, if I can get them for 3 or $4, Someone always needs a keyboard at the last minute, and it's always great to have one. I've had neighbors knock on my door, and since I know I'm, a, they know I'm a computer guy. I just hand it to them. I mean, if you buy a keyboard for three or four dollars, it's not a big deal to help others. So that's what I, you know, buy many USB keyboards for. This is because the keyboard I had before this, the keys were falling off, 
the F keys were all over the place. So the keyboard is pretty old then, or beat up I should say. So I just needed another keyboard. I have another keyboard, but this one came in and I thought I'd do a video on it so I can show it to you how it looks. And they have it available at Best Buy. Or I believe it's Best Buy. You can check below to confirm. So I hope you like it. I hope you like the video. Thank you.